Hello everyone, this is Anupam and welcome to VPower. I know it's been a while that I have made a video but I'm back. This time we are going to make a video series on Docker containers. This is the first one for installing Docker Container Enterprise Edition. I'm also going to make down the line few videos on OpenStack, VRA and the comparison between the two private cloud solutions, which and how, which private cloud is more better. But keeping that aside, let's continue with our lab. You can also use the Community Edition to install Docker containers. I'm using Enterprise Edition. Even you can register for a trial Enterprise Edition. I will show it to you how you can do that. So directly, let's jump to the Docker website. So go to Hub. So we will log into Docker Hub. Even you can get a trial license very easily. I'll show it to you how we can get that. No, I don't need to store that. If you search for Docker Enterprise Edition, okay, so here it is, Docker E, my bad, and I am using my Docker installation in this lab on CentOS. If you're using on Red Hat, Azure, AWS, wherever you're using, you can select that. So click on that, start one month trial. In my case, I have already done that. So I will go to my all subscriptions. Action. Okay, let me go to setup. So once you're there on the setup, you will get a link. Click on it, it's a little slow. So you will get a link here, copy paste your download URL for enterprise edition. So this is where you will get your link for your repository let's proceed with the installation so to start with uh, docker installation we will uh, remove if anything older version if you have anything just remove it if not then just skip this step and this is to set up the docker repository the straightforward commands and then you have to install docker enterprise edition and then start the service it's a very simple commands Let's go ahead and run the following commands on our nodes. Let me give you a brief. I have three systems. One is a master, other two are the worker. But I'm just going to install on master. In the next video series, I'm going to actually configure UCP, the control plane for the Docker. And then we will be adding our worker nodes to that. But in this video series, just we'll be using master and we'll be installing Docker. E on that. Just to ensure that everything is good, I am going to run this command or just leave that because we know that everything is fine. The Docker URL, if you remember, I have just mentioned that you have to go to Docker Hub and you have to get this URL for yourself. job done I don't want to waste time and if any you know comma brackets or anything is missed out so I don't want to waste time on that so I have written everything on ahead on advance did I miss anything yes I did miss one bracket I just mentioned right so so let me copy this and execute this I think I have not copied it properly. Let me. What does it say? Okay. Enter. Then I'm going to run this one. Okay. 
okay so my everything else is done now the final will be to install docker ee Uh, best practices do follow docker website or maybe even I'll uh, see sometime if I get the time we can even cover that we will see how we can harden and secure our container as well we'll make that video um, let's start the service can see our docker version our docker is installed let's pull an image okay you can see docker image ls i can see history pretty there we can even do docker run hyphen p docker run what httpd mm, hyphen p eighty eighty and hyphen D. Docker container ls. You can see that it's already created, but it has given me some kind of an error.
not sure why my game disk is slow. Okay, let me move this place so it can make it faster. Guess what? I put it on. My internet access is slow, children. I'm still in the video, so. So, um, clear. so what I'm going to run is to run an nginx or stdpd uh, since I've downloaded stpdd I'm going to run that particular container so I'm going to run docker run httpd and I'm going to give the name of that name is going to be web server you can give any name whatever you like to I'm going to give a port number 8080 and I'm going to give hyphen d to run in the background and httpd Oh, uh, the mistake which I did the last time. Why did I mention it here? I have to mention this in the last. And here it goes. So let me run uh, the container, which I just downloaded, HTTPD. So for that, what I'm going to do is I'll run Docker run hyphen hyphen name I'll give it as website I'll give port number as 8081 and I am going to give to run in the background and httpd it's done so let's go back to our browser let's run 81 and it works so we have built our httpd thank you guys thank you for watching this video don't forget to like subscribe and press the bell icon do leave your comment and very soon i'm going to post the ucp of the docker container as well thank you guys